Hey, this is Sasha, and I wanna thank you for joining me in today's video. I just have a special announcement for you today, and that is that my Passive Dividend Investing course is out and available to purchase. Now, this course is packed with a lot of information specifically geared for longer-term investors who are looking to invest in dividend-paying stocks or dividend-paying ETFs. So it's looking for people that are the DIY investors. That's really what the course is for. The course is there to share with you how you can make money through dividend-paying stocks or dividend-paying ETFs on your own without using a financial advisor, without using the mutual fund guys, without using some hedge fund person where they're gonna dump and offload a lot of fees on you. So if you've been saving quite a bit of money over time and you're not looking to trade very actively, if you're looking to trade a little more passively and you're looking to just kind of put your money into something like a crock pot, let it sit and build that wealth over time, well, this is what this course is going to teach you. It's packed with hours of material. In fact, over 12 hours of dividend investing training through 14 videos and includes a 300 page study guide as well as the PowerPoint slides that we use throughout the course, which is over 230 slides. Now in this course, we're going to cover a lot of things. We're gonna start from the groundwork, from the foundation. And we're gonna go all the way through what you need to know in order to place the trades on your own to building out an investment portfolio of dividend stocks and dividend ETFs. So in the first module, we'll talk about some uh, dividend investing basics, how it really works, what, uh, why some companies pay dividends and other companies don't. We'll take a look at how dividend investing then works in module number two, meaning the two primary ways you make money when it comes to investing, um, how stock appreciation works and how dividend investing works. Uh, reviewing some examples of some stock charts. We'll take a look at those as well. And the three things you should watch out for when investing in dividend paying stocks. In module three, we'll get into some basics, uh, an introduction to reading charts. I'll share with you some common uh, tips and tricks to simplify the chart reading process for you uh, since you're not gonna be looking at you know, intraday moves or maybe even day-to-day -day moves. You'll be looking for things in the long term. So that's what we're going to hone in in module three. In module four, we'll get into some more basics of stock market terms, uh, about the size of companies, the step-by-step -step process of placing a trade, so how can you really do it on your own, uh, and just the players in the game and what volatility means. So we'll get into all this language uh, concepts in module number four. Module number five, we'll take a look at the dividend formulas, language and terms, and how to use dividend yield to find out how much money you'll make annually from dividends why companies with high dividend yields are not always the best investment, and also just some formulas that you can use to evaluate your investment decisions. Module number six, we'll talk about finding dividend investment vehicles, meaning the importance of consistency. We'll talk about some of the criteria to look for, uh, why you should follow some of the big leading companies and those kinds of things. In module seven, we'll actually start looking at building a portfolio of dividend investments. You know, what does it mean to have a portfolio? How do you plan out a portfolio? And some of the key things to keep in mind when investing and building out that portfolio. Module number eight, I'm gonna share with you a list of my resources of dividend paying stocks based on their pay dates by month. We'll talk about things by sector. We'll look at some low beta dividend stocks and some REITs. So that way you have a quick reference guide to pull and do some research on all these different stocks based on your own risk tolerance and risk levels. In module number nine, we'll look at weighing your risk to reward uh, decisions. For example, how do you read a risk profile picture and determine how risky an investment is before you get into it and how much money should you really put into it? We'll look at also some option risks and how to use options, uh, how that counteracts some of the risks involved when you're investing in dividend paying stocks. In module number 10, we'll look at managing your portfolio, how to manage the portfolio, not just set it and forget it. I'll show you some basic key concepts, tips and tricks to managing the portfolio the right way and the right approach. I'll show you some of the right and the wrong way of getting into a position. And also the number one thing you need to know when taking profits into strength. We'll also cover a few things like about the stops, how to use moving averages as a strategy to get in and out of stocks as well, um, and those kinds of things to really manage that portfolio a little bit better. 
Module number 11 is going to be about using options to increase profits. Now, if you've never heard of options or you think they're a little bit difficult, in this module, I'm gonna simplify that uh, to you. I'm gonna share with you how to use options to improve your profits with dividend paying stocks and how you can make more money through it and also reduce your risks. Now, I'll try to simplify it. This one is an hour and a half long just on the module itself on options but it'll definitely ramp up your earning potential if you learn this craft of using options from your dividend investments. Module number 12, we'll look at registering for a brokerage account. I'll show you a couple of registration processes and the step-by-step -step way to do that. And then in module number 13, we'll look at some portfolio examples of various account sizes and some of the risks that go along with it and what your earnings potentials would be for different uh, variations and combinations by using a couple of different stocks. And you'll see that there's so many different variations that you can do with just a handful of stocks because of your portfolio size or because of your size of the position that you get into. In module number 14, I'll share with you some common questions and answers that many people have about uh, dividend investing, passive investments. I'll share with you some tips, some resources, and give you some of my final words of wisdom. So if you're the DIY investor, if you want to invest your money, put it into dividend paying stocks, or you're looking to put your money into some sort of investments like a crock pot, let it sit and accumulate and build wealth for you, then that's what this course is all about. This course is there to share with you how you can do it on your own to enter some positions for dividend uh, stocks to enter some positions on ETFs to do the research that you need to figure out well which ones are better for you which ones are more risky less risky what balance should you have as far as risks go in these portfolios and how do you make that adjustments by share size do you use the charts how to use a combination of those things that's what it's all about and if you want to save your money on the fees that the uh, mutual fund guys or the money managers take from you when you invest your money instead of making you know let's say a hundred thousand dollars from your two hundred thousand dollar investments over your lifetime and cutting that down to half and, and and making that yourself on your own then this is what this course is about it's about you earning that extra bit instead of paying all those high fees from those brokers year after year because remember, they pay, you, you, they're charging you that front loading fee, they're charging you a management fee, probably an exiting fee, and sometimes you're stuck into things you don't really want. Or maybe if you need that money immediately, they won't let you get out of it because you're under contract. So all those things create hurdles and problems when you're not managing your money. Because in the end, the person who cares most about your money is going to be you. So take that into your own hands and learn how to do it the right way through investing in dividends if you're looking to invest on your own on the long-term scale. So if you're interested in this course, we have a promotion that's going on with this course for the next uh, couple of weeks. And if you want, we'll have more details coming up throughout the next few weeks with some lessons that go into more detail about dividends and how you make money from dividends. But if you want to start learning a little bit more about this course and what it's all about, uh, click one of the links right here and you'll go to the courses page and you can learn more about this course or even a link in the description by clicking that link below and you'll go right to the courses page to see the promotion, what it's all about and learn more about it. Now it will be available for a couple of more weeks. I'll let you know the exact final date of when we stop the promotion. It's actually going to be March 2nd, which is a Friday. You have a couple more weeks to go. Now, if you're interested in this course, you're ready to get it right now, then click one of the buttons right up here to learn more about it or the link in the description and you'll go right to the course. You'll learn more about the course and you can purchase the course if you're ready to take control of your money and learn more about investing in dividends. Thanks for joining me today. Enjoy your week ahead and remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.